Charlie, resume your sheets. Cameramen, please take your seats so the reporters can know what's going on. Thank you. All right, so good morning once again. Oh, one. Good morning. Good morning. Uh huh, better. <laughs> Welcome once again to this press conference between Shatawale and Stoneboy. Uh, the two of them are here for one particular reason. Uh, they both know that unity is strength and that's why they're here today. The two of them will make some statements and after that, we'll give the opportunity to media men to ask questions. Uh, let me just say that we are taking questions from only five journalist. Thank you, because we want to keep this as short as possible. So thank you very much once again for honoring our invitation. So between the two of you, whoever is ready to start, we can go. Well, um, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're happy to be here. As you can see, me and my brother are all prepared to really listen to you and, you know, also talk to you. And I believe um, it's a good initiative for us to come together here, you know, just for us to interact and see the way forward. So basically, as you can see, I'm here representing Chatham Movement. My brother is here from Beam Nation and we're just here. So we thank God for that. No problem. Yeah. Um, Thank you very much, Ghana, for coming out this morning. I think via um, uh, by the Naba, I mean, I keep it personal before I go corporate, but not. by the Naba, me, Yama Benson Jr., me, Vincent and Edges, and Tekla as well. I mean, we're here, what? Dr. Kofi Yaban as well, we're here to, I mean, Ghana knows and we know better um, so if we're here, we're here for Ghana, the media men. We thank you guys for coming out today. And we're ready and willing to interact, like my big brother said, you know, all for Ghana at the end of the day. So let's go. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. And yes, this is brought to you by the Kofi Aban Foundation. Uh, the Kofi Aban Foundation made this possible. And so the two of them will be addressing a number of issues, beginning from what happened on the night of the Music Awards. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't even know where to start or how to start, but I'll keep it very short. I am a musician, and my brother, Chatawale, is a musician as well. Most importantly, we all do the same genre of music, you know, so whatever we do, however we do it, we are brothers, even if we like it or not. And then over the period of, over, over the years, we have all witnessed the friction and the rivalry that has been in our music industry, so to speak knowing also that the media, the Ghanaian media that we have, I mean, thrive on such news and such headlines to, to grow, which is no lie, and we have to call a spade a spade. So many a time we have felt, you know, the bond from each other, either by what we heard, what somebody said, Maybe something I said that I wouldn't mean it. Maybe something that he said that I wouldn't mean it. We don't know the environment in which we are. So to keep a long story short, you know, we came, we've come a very long way, you know, representing for Ghana, myself, he's done so many amazing things from the days of Bandana, rebranded to Shatawale, and has pushed. Um, to be honest, we all have individual ways of doing uh, things and approaching stuff. I, as an industry player, I will respect other people's modes of operation and therefore have accorded maximum amount of respect to every other artist in the country. And I'm sure that he also has, you know, in his best of knowledge, been able to 
accord respect to people. But we all saw what happened on the night, which is not the main reason why we're here. The main reason why we're here, to be honest, is for peace, for love. Look at this, you know. And when we see each other together like this, we all should know that the future is brighter. And whatever they be, we have buried. You know, whatever the hatchet be, we have buried it. We have drowned every unnecessary stuff, you know, to move forward because we've always known, but by a turnout of events, we get to realize the importance of unity, the importance of coming together as a united force in our individual ways. You know what I mean? So this is the main reason why we are here seated today, you know, to say the peace conference which is very important because the youth of Ghana actually love us and we drive the youth of Ghana hands down. Shatter and Stormboy drive the youth of Ghana home and abroad, not only in Accra or Kumasi or whatever. So what is the best way? How else can we get this going without all these unnecessary few that the media benefits from? Unless it's a few that somebody at home benefits from. Somebody, for instance, somebody will see me in town and say something I'm like, wow, so this is what you expect me to do. But you don't know the outcome, the consequences. So I actually see that we now have to put everything aside to address these people, to direct them and not allow them to direct us. You know? So this is how short I want to keep it. And I will, again, say sorry and apologize you know for the roles that we have played you know in making this happen because regardless i'm a man of peace he is a man of peace as far as i'm concerned and today we're here standing for peace for ghana and we pray that the word of peace will be taken to the world as far as and beyond the point where the fracas got to so we want this to be pushed to the BBCs, to the Al Jazeera's, to know that yes, these two people are together now, like they've always wished to be, to grow the industry of Ghana against other African countries and put the name of Ghana first because it's Ghana first, you know. So thank you very much. That's what I have to say. I was thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Said, um, um, yeah, we just want to apologize to you know all who felt bad, you know, to my Bim Nation fans, to my Shut Up Movement fans, you know, to my personal friends in the media, to my sweet people, you know, in the media. And I just like to say, um, it always happens, and you know, like you said, you know, peace is what we all want, and we all want to get our business flourishing live a good life. It's an example we're setting for the next generation to come, so people should just, you know, understand this. And I know most people saw our pictures and they were like, oh, that's Photoshop, that's what you know you Photoshop, I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe you are seeing a real video. It's just nice, so. Oh, I did like, oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Okay, so the most important point to take from what the both uh, gentlemen have said is that there is a unity concert that is coming up and that unity concert will see the two of them performing hit by hit to their teeming fans from all over the country and that's coming up. Do you both want to touch on it more, Shatawale? Um, I think my brother knows about it more, so thank you guys. This one, yeah, you know about it. <laughs> uh, start, look, I finish. Oh, Charlie, it's really there. Or maybe put your Facebook live. That'll be where you give you a break. That'll be where you put your Facebook live. But I just get my food. Out. <laughs> you know what? Well, it's true. Um, we, we're planning to get, you know, something like that. And, 
can see, you know, Kofia Ban Foundation, you know, we really working hard towards this and I think he's one person who really sat us down and you know spoke to us about you know how we can move business. So we are seeing it from the business side of life and people should just watch out for a great concert, something to portray peace, something to promote Ghana, something to sell Ghana and you know as you said, you know, Ghana first is our newborn baby that we try to, you know, nurture and it's gonna grow and we want the next generations upon next generations to come to really follow it up and yeah, it's gonna be a great thing. And I, I want, you know, the media to also support us because I, I believe we've been, you know, here and there, you know, Stone Boy, Shatawale, Stone Boy, but this is the time that we believe with our hands joined together, we can be able to move kind of forward. So yes, the concert is coming up and you know, you're gonna enjoy something nice. You know how we do it, you know. This time to not be saying Anyway, thank you. Um uh, me, I'm gonna take go back small and I'll come join because a lot of people have actually made this possible. Someone has here. Yeah, we're not gonna be here and not give thanks to some people who have at least added a word or two. Even those people who would sleep at home and wish that Shatter and Stonewall came together to push the industry. Those people also made it possible for that to be, for us to be here today. Because by their wishes that they send into the universe, God hears it. And even us ourselves, you know, we have been willing and always been willing, you know. But like he, he said, there has to, and every, you know, we need all forms of all other arms to be operational to make this happen. And that's why the Dr. Kofi Aban Foundation actually presented itself, you know, to, to play the role of that other arm to make sure that it comes to reality. But I do not want the media to feel like for such and such reasons only is a reason why we see the need to come here and engage you people to talk to you because we have material motives. I do want to address that so that from the horse's own mouth, you guys will hear. We have been yearning for peace for a long time because in freedom, creativity thrives. You know what I mean? And in peace, we all feel at ease to work. So thanks to the police force, you know, especially um, the Mediana Medita, ACP, 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 Yahoo, the, the Jupo. She's been a mother and a big sister to us. And can I throw a secret? You guys would have seen a picture of us from time. But you know, tensions have to die down so that we don't blend things up and all of that. So, you know, thanks to her, thanks to the, the regional commander, commander and the Mr. Kusio, Kusio Furi. Furi, and then the um, DSP Mohammed. Uh -huh. You know, I, I think the regional um, uh, uh, command, command, yeah, really um, helped us. You know, yes, uh, they, they they started uh, talking to us before. Yes, and thanks to the other small small places to me. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sick, don't worry. And so thanks to everybody, everybody in the I want to I, I want to reiterate something that see the law actually works. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then the police force are doing their best each and every day to make things work. And yesterday the president said in Canada in addressing the rain stuff, he said one point that I also was I mean we were discussing that our attitudes, our attitudes actually matter. So definitely we need to change our attitudes to our people, you know, to make sure that the police can work, the law can work, and we're all in the world, peace and harmony. So first and foremost, there's going to be a concert, the date is going to be announced soon, and I will not leave here by, by not acknowledging Bullet, our own brother, forget about Rough, rough, town. rough town, Bullet, our brother. Is well, when did she, when did she, when did she? Yeah. <laughs> He's also been around. No disrespect, Jesus. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's also been a brother to Dr. Kofi Aban. So, them also have pushed this man 
to realize that he has to work hard to be able to make this event happen. So just on that side, we have to acknowledge that. So definitely, and Anaba also, you know, say she did treat, she did, she yes, she's, she's, she's bringing up so much of friends. So. So much of yeah. Not to say that the other people haven't been, but these are the people who have actually spent time and energy and left their jobs to come and make sure that you just capitalize and turn things around. Because people would think that Africa and Kebe come on. So I'm begging nations, me, I'll be beat to the core. Me, I'll be fan of myself, self. <laughs> so we love ourselves as much as you guys love us. You understand? But the fight and the this thing there, definitely to be natural, things will come, but we have to understand it differently and make sure that at the end of the day, it will grow us all, it will benefit us all, it will put us in a good light. You understand? Because the negative, you know, they help. It may let many things know the feet. Sorry for the Massasan and the Pigeon. They don't let us in. We are local people. We are international people. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are local and international, so we can blend with the I forget. Mm -hmm. So, at the back, we want that this press conference will reach the farthest end of the world because it doesn't take. It doesn't take a widow's might to bring these mighty names into this room. Sure. We're proud to come from Ghana and our Ghanaians and are willing to continue to do the most for Mother Ghana in peace. So media, please help us. Don't be crashing our heads. Eh? The headlines sometimes, when I read them, I'm say, ah! <laughs> they are starting to think plan B. It's when they read those, you know, let me just add something. To, to. It's nice, but um, I believe most bloggers are in here, most media people are in here. I believe this is the time for us to start a new business. Yeah. It's the time for us to open a new venture. If you want us to be, please, let's have a meeting, like here, this <laughs> nice, so that we'll plan it, so that the next time it won't be, you know, elsewhere, you know, people will be reading negative. We can all make money when we come together, but if we stay in our solo rooms and solo places and feel like, we can just put up headlines, we won't make money. So I beg you, me, the money is my problem. So let us go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the concept will be known as Ghana First, yeah. uh, the Shatter and Bim Nation coming together for that particular concept. So it's Ghana First, like Ghana not first. FES First. So I hope we're someone in our way of Ghana for. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. for Anna. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Liberian Ghana. Definitely. So. Yeah. Now the question is to yeah. we are open. Okay, so we'll take five. Is there anything else you guys want us to address or speak about? It will come up in the questions. Ah, okay. okay. Madam, it will come up you. in the questions. So, um, if we can have, um, we're taking only five questions. Ogusuwarai from TV3. All right. Can you come forward, please? Okay, you can go get the microphone. Over there, right there. It's fine. Go bring your microphone. Sorry. All right, so S7B, man. Follow you over the period. Beyond the argument on the street and everything, one big wish of the fans out there is that the two of you work on a song together or maybe an album together. Is that possible? And when is that happening? Thank you very much. And by so doing, we want to find out who will pay for the production. Very <laughs> <laughs> important. Uh, you see, so there are technicalities that go into things like this, and for big brands like us, we have a, we have it down, written down, and I think it will cost like it's a multi-million dollar venture mm -hmm. to get us together to. But we're working on it, so we are raising funds now, small, small, so that it gets to the end of the world, Yeah, and one been, day it will come. I think I need to chip in this. Chip in. I like the way um, Warren, you know, right? Um, you act about how collaboration is coming up. I know most of you see music to be an easy thing for us to do, but um, it's business for me and him. You know, like you said, uh, we've been friends from way back and we understand the business. That is why people see us today like this. Because long time ago, we we're talking about this, like, you know, from 2005. 2005, yeah, you know, those days, you know, Bullet was even around and you know, and you know, can I break a secret before he ends? Can I? Yeah. Can I? Oh. Don't, don't go far. Okay, don't go far. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know when he got his first car by his record label, the first person he called was me to come and ride with him. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is my guy. <laughs> And, and, and that day, no, <laughs> I swear, nobody know that secret. You know that secret with God. That day, no, end of story, they seize the car. Oh. <laughs> Who seized it? Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> The bloggers I if they want the story, we'll give it to them, but they'll, they'll pay something small. Yes. <laughs> Let me just add that this uh, press conference is live on GH1 TV and also on GH1 TV's uh, Facebook page. Uh, so join the conversation across the social media network. So uh, the next question, Doreen Avia from Multimedia. Doreen, please. Boss, you can only ask a question when I've called you. Thank you. Um, good day everyone, and um, congratulations to Stoneboy and Shatawale on this. <laughs> Alright, so my question is, um, yes, we've seen this unity in the past. We actually saw it in a shaman to the world concept. We've seen it countless times. But the question is, how long would it last? And for your fans as well, um, since the picture came out, it's yeah. always looked like it's fake. There's a disconnect. It's like there's a disconnect because, well, Shatawali is a funny guy, so there's always this facial expression. Mm -hmm. How is this going to last? And how are you going to promise us that nothing of this sort is going to happen again? Who answers first? Who are you doing, Shatawali? Shatawali. And then me. Or yes, me. And the me. Or the I, th I, think, I think my brother can really answer this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but today, after years, after they owe me like one million dollars, because <laughs> I didn't answer the questions wrong. Well. <laughs> Thank you. You can do it better. Okay, to be honest, before God and man, um, for us to get to this point, we have had to try a number of times. I have had to play my role a number of times because there is a willingness to see peace and grow in peace. And I, I can say this for us that regardless of who heard or who didn't, that day of an Ashima show was when my wife was stabbed when she had, was pregnant with my daughter. Yeah. And then guess what? We took her to the hospital and my manager asked if we were going to be able to stop her. I'm like, why not? And that was the day we even did that. So amidst the storm, we still pulled it, right? And if it didn't last whatsoever, it's only right as human that we keep trying in life to keep trying, to keep trying to get to the top. Because a number of times you realize that when he has events, the media will keep asking me, are you going to go to the concert? Are you going to go to the concert? What did I do? I called something, we tried. You know? And when I had my, are you, is it going to come up in Kusantana was fighting? What did he do? He tried because that theft is danger zone as well, you know, the, for the rivalry. But so I just want Ghanaians and world to understand that we have always been trying, not just us, but why not? It starts from the top. Peace is key. The government preaches peace, the president preaches peace. So how much more the entertainment industry that the people listen to more than the presidency? Over the years we've preach rivalry and have put heads together to say competition, rivalry grows the industry is key. But tell me what rivalry has actually gained us. You know, that is ill rivalry, unhealthy rivalry. What has that gained us? You know what I mean? So the length how I mean how the the, the length of this unity is not dependent on us. We leave it to divine. But we'll always keep trying when we fall. Thank you. Add something. Okay. Add something. Add something. Well, like you said, um, um, yes, we keep trying. We, we still want to see what the Almighty God has for us. But um, as mature people, you know, I believe he's a married man, he has kids. Uh, bachelor, you know. <laughs> you are who? Bachelor, right? <laughs> you know, and but you know, he has kids too, and you know, yeah, that, he has a kids. family. You know, have family. Have families, yeah, you know. you know, but um, all I'll say is that you people are 
the people we need more to help us to grow this, you know, because to grow this, you need yeah, to invest. you know, because uh -huh. I, I believe, you know, most of the bloggers here have gotten my Facebook videos, which are very popular, you know, which I apologize about every so it's chemistry small. But um, all I just say is just try and put us there, like the way we are seeing other African countries doing. You know, I believe he can hold my hand when I'm falling, and I can also hold his when he's falling. Uh, we all have, you know, you know, a little, you know, short falls here and yeah. there. But um, if people will support us, if people will treat us like the way we want to see ourselves, I believe we can all share the same idea and move on. Because the unity will last. Yes, because, yeah, mm -hmm. like he said, you know, beef, competition. This guy is better than this one. This guy they do this one. This one they do this one. But it doesn't got in as anything in our industry, and I just want to urge everybody to just love us today and start promoting love from today so we can have that peace. And you know, you, like, you guys can have us on your interviews and you know, me and Stone Boy, you know, try, because we have a whole lot of projects we want to do now, not only just, you know, we, we are looking at the bright future, we are looking at, you know, empowering like most of the youth, you know, to really learn from this so they can grow well when they want to be musicians. Cause I believe now parents want their children to be musicians because of me and Stonewall. You know, they've been musicians too uh, who have come, but you know, they have not done the thing that we have done. And I beg you, sometimes if I'm talking to them, I'm coming, he's coming up. But this is, people go to stop laughing, I'm serious. But I love you people. And people who have to just love us like that so that we can push it. The bloggers, the media people are begging. Right now, this is my brother. I, I gave him a Jesus kiss. If like I can give him Abraham kiss. So people who are, we beg you. So you both should just support us because we are not perfect. We can't say, okay, today we are here, nothing will happen. Tomorrow, maybe we'll meet at the filling station and because of fuel. And we say, oh, fuel, fuel, fuel. We are fighting because of fuel. To be some, so when you people help us, we can do well. So, Doreen, I think your question has been answered. Stop laughing. Thank you. All right, um, Doreen, you like the answer? I yeah. do. And so, it depends more on the media to help us. Like, don't pitch us against you know, we all definitely is life. Maybe a little bit try C will be, you know, try F will be, but say the only bit boom. Yeah, uh -huh. but because we are not fighting against each other, we are, we are competing against the world. And we can't do that just by us only, but by you guys. Like the other day, to be honest, I posted a fan. We do post pictures. Do you realize that when we post pictures, it goes about on our blogs, but you don't see most often the international media rallying it around like the other yeah. fellow people. Now I can say, sometimes we drop a picture, post the picture already, and can say, and that has you. But we can't be the other day, we are not the BAB. And then they say you should be pushy and you know to extend they can't their hands will be tied. So much so that so the media actually has the power by by telling people. You know what I mean? So please, to last this relationship is you guys. Absolutely. Please. Okay, we just take three more questions from GH1 TV and Joanna, City TV and Konkonsa. I'm sorry. I don't Eugene. All right, so I just want to find out that after all is said and done, if Charterhouse decides today that they are taking up the punishment, are you ready and willing to still work with the event company and the part of the award scheme, if for nothing at all, maybe for the fans? Thank you very much. If for nothing at all, maybe for the fans. For the fans, we have done a lot of things. For the fans, we don't have privacy. For the fans, we don't have a life. For the same fans, we don't sleep. We keep creating every day. And so the fans are key people on our hearts that we can't um, disappoint. It transcends from fans to citizens to people who love us and want to see us grow. So we put in a lot of work. For the fans, we have sacrificed so much that they don't even have an idea about for the fans, we go through so much. For the fans, we've slept in places that we're not supposed to. So that's on the side. Charter House and VGMA as event organizers, I mean, over the years, we've, we've worked together. All the point of times where they ban Charter and they sit back with him and bring him back. And now, now currently, both of us have been banned. We realize that. Um, 
if they do decide by their discretion to leave the bank or whatever, I want them to also understand that, like we've always been, we are professionals. We're willing and open to work with whoever sees us fit to work with. Therefore, when it gets there, we'll cross it. But I will admit that with the past brawl that happened and the whole thing, I think that we, I mean, I wouldn't have addressed it, but I think I should go there a little bit. The parties involved are not just me and Shanta, you know, but we have borne the most. Yes. Right? We yeah. have borne the most. Mm -hmm. We have been banned, our awards have been stripped, we've been, that alone is like a low blow, you know what I mean? And it's a thing that can have an effect on us. We've seen our musical president come and say the industry can do without us. To be honest, these are trying times and times that we should realize that we're not just the two in the place, and it's all of us, and we should all mix to our fault. We have come out to apologize for the past that we've played, but Charterhouse, BGMA, hasn't come to say anything for the involvement, for that involvement, either being wrong or right. You know what I mean? And I want you to know that. So if they do lift the banners to their discretion by the board or by the people that sit there, we are willing to work, and when we get there, we'll cross it because we are professionals. We'll do things right this time. <laughs> like, yeah, you talk about us. No. <laughs> I think I like what he said. Oh, don't, don't you like what he said? Yeah, I think he, he makes sense from what he just said. Uh, I just would like to say, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Ajwa, you like the answer? Absolutely. City TV. The microphone, please, for City TV. Hello, Shatawani and Simboy. I'm very glad that you guys have come back together. My name is Anajwa Sabani. City TV and City FM. Can you hear me? Yes, Hello? Bring it, bring it. Okay, so I'll ask without the mic. So, it's loud enough. It's, yeah, my voice is very loud. So yes, I was Hello. very, I was gobsmacked when I saw what happened at the VGMA. So I was disappointed in both of you, but you've redeemed yourselves by coming together. So you're doing the concert, Ghana Fair's concert. Do you think your fans or your followers are mentally ready to see you two perform underneath the same roof? Because you guys are arch rivals, but now you're friends. Your fans have, might have not yet digested the fact that you guys have come together. They might come into underneath a roof and one might step on one shoe, like, hey, why did you step on my shoe? And they get upset and they fight. And it causes a big shenanigans here in Ghana. What measures are you guys putting in place to make sure that doesn't happen on the night? All right. Uh, as usual, I'll take it again and my brother can close it. Uh, sorry, it's like been quite an answer and I'm not just saying because no, that's the question. <laughs> um, I, I would want to Ghana and the world to understand that mentally it hasn't been easier for neither him or him. If it has not been easy for, if it's not going to be easy for the followers who we cherish, they should also understand that it's never been easier for the leaders who they follow. But if we have been able to consider a bigger picture. Ghana first, I trust that by the love they have for us as those who they respect enough to lead them, they will buy into this and we need them to support this idea. Else, we'll just close and go and sleep because he is going to go into estate anyway. I'm going to do something else I will tell you guys anyway. We have our individual lives, but I want the masses to also understand that. To be honest, we do not have a life like they do. They have their individual lives and they were, were like the icing on the cake for them. We inspire them, yes, but who inspires us? We love them and we do this, but who loves us? It's only them that can love us and give it back. So we trust that this direction is not an evil one. And God knows that in peace we all go and in unity. So if we do come under one roof, then it leaves, I mean mentally, psychologically, I would ask them that they should have the strength to. Because two weeks ago, 
you guys saw the height of it. And I know that the fans also get to their own levels. Some people fight, some people, we hear them, some people we use knives and all of that. It will have to begin with us for them to get disinfected. Sorry if it's an infection, you know. Now it has begun. So I beg them to mentally receive it. It may be harsh, but if they think it's harsh on them, it's harsh on us, if I can use that word. But we have to get it done. And then the measures that should be put in place now leaves the terrain of me and Shatter. It goes into the terrain of security, terrain of law, media, publicity, which we trust that as professionals, we will make sure that Try this time, uh, scanner. The scanner, I don't know what it is for We're going to make sure say, we, all the various departments will not go away with anything. So that we are all brought to book when they need be. Because we trust that we're all professionals so, and we know what to do. So, like I answered for the Charter House staff, as and when they decide the game by their discretion, we are here. We will be professional. <laughs> And um, one thing that I think people really don't also study about us musicians, like um, I think people feel we are swollen headed. You know, the perception outside is that we don't know what we have, and you know we just move about anyhow. But uh, I would like to address this to everybody that these are fans that we started with them from day one, and they really listen to us. You know, I mean, most of my fans when you watch my performances, when you misbehave. I will tell you, hey, that was as in now. Yeah, you know, so these are people who listen to us. He runs a nation. I run a, I run a nation, you know, and I, w I would even like to see if the government will allow, they should even get a beam region and a shutter movement region. Also. We control most of the youth in Ghana, but that is what possibly yeah, there, you know, that is what the leaders of this country are trying to avoid, or they are trying to watch with a blind eye, but yeah. people should just understand this, that what we are doing today, our fans are watching, and they really going to follow it as such, you know. People say our fans are crazy, they're rowdy, and this stuff, but we have nice fun, like the way, um, um, Nana Joy, yes, I like your fun like this, <laughs> you know, so people should just understand that what we are doing today, the fans are watching, yeah. and they are just going to follow exactly like what they are hearing from us. And the police, talk to the police, they bring so much of help to us, you know? Yeah. Anywhere we go, they are there. And so, they are also gonna work very well for us to have yeah. a very, you know, suitable entertainment industry. Yeah, and I want to add something more um, about the fan base thing. You see, we have come to a realization that it is okay, it is super cool if you don't like Snowboy and you like Shatawale. You know what? Once you like a brother who does the same thing and is a Ghanaian, it's okay. But if you don't like Snowboy and you like somebody else, man, then that one I go think of, see, watch your step. And it's okay to like Snowboy. And, and you know what I mean? And also the other way around, if you don't like Shatawa. It's okay, but to cause fights and peace out of that is where it goes beyond the border. I know people who love me so much. I don't love him. I know people who love him so much. And they tell me, say, media, shut up, man, you know, back. So, yeah, why not? Come on, man. You know, so we're not doing today. Make you know somebody go see and say, hey, now I'm a good thing how to love Shanta. <laughs> love, love me, love me. Yeah. Somebody go to say, now I'm a good thing how to love Stone. Boy. Love him, love him. He's a very nice guy. <laughs> continue to love Shanta, continue to love Stone Boy. But the peace, the significance we see, let us not take it to levels where we will destroy each other at the end of the day and gain zero. Yeah. That's why it's Ghana first. Because we are Ghanaians before Stone Boy. We are Ghanaians <laughs> before Shaka as our uh, show business. So that is the essence. So that's what I want to ask. So don't worry. If you like, don't download my songs to you are Shaka. I respect that. You have the right to. So we just for have this understanding as people. Uh, I hope say I add up something to that. And All thanks right. to Thank the powers that be, the government, the top bosses that have always been speaking to me and him over the years before today. 
I don't know if I can mention names because of levels, but they know themselves. And wherever they are, thank you, God bless you. We, we want to change the narrative. We're in 2019, and in 2020, Africa must sing a new thing. And Ghana especially must have a renewed mindset so that we can grow, because we wish to grow in the music industry, right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. We'll take a very last question from Eugene of Peace FM. Okay, um, uh, quick two or three questions. The so first one. One question, was, Eugene, only one. Okay, um, I want to know the event. Is it going to be a one off thing or is it going to be annual? Um, because if it's annual, it's going to go a long way to sustain the unity and the peace we're projecting. And then, secondly, um, they are both spoken about the families. Um, they acknowledge the fact that the media One is a question. very strong platform. Thank you, Eugene. I want to, I want them to make you, an Eugene. official statement to their fans. The media is here. They should make an Thank you, Eugene. They've already made an official statement. Thank you, Eugene. And um, just to say that the peace concepts date and uh, time and venue will be communicated in the next few weeks. If you've had any dates outside um, of this room, of, not from the two gentlemen here, it is a fake uh, date that you have been given. And so the announcement will be made very soon. Uh, thank you very much. And for the official announcements, they have done that. Uh, for the past 20 minutes, they've been speaking uh, to uh, the unity and what they expect their teaming funds to do. So they've already made that statement. <laughs> Right. Okay. Um, to be honest, for it to keep running, right, it doesn't depend only on us to do it. You know, there are several parts like the business part that have to keep running. So, so long as we're able to financially sustain this to make it keep going, we will definitely keep it running and when time permits, because we both are busy artists and we have our own schedules. Mind you, this is not a new group. This is not a new group. We have been and have always been and want to stand for unity and push right in unity, but us. Shatter that has always been as a store boy that would always keep everything. So we would even love to do this weekly, even daily. You know what I mean? Once as the other parts kick and we have time and everything resonates for us to do it. Right? So All right. thank you, know? you very much. Yes. Stone boy. Shatter, do you want to add on? I, I think yeah. <laughs> I think I think he said everything, and I, I like what he also said. So it's good. All right. Um. So we've taken all our questions, but before we go, I see Wendy Shea here. Uh, Wendy is here as a very young artist, a new artist on the block, and as the two of them um, mentioned earlier, they are doing this so that the younger generation will not repeat their mistakes. For you here, what do you think? Seeing your seniors come together this way. Quickly, and then we can rush up. Let's say that we are very grateful. You guys are setting a very great example for young and upcoming artists like us. So please keep the unity strong because we look up to you guys. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. All right, so we have to say a big thank you to all of you for coming. We have to say a big thank you to the Kofi Aban Foundation for making this possible. And I don't want to go without thanking the management teams of these two artists. Black City, uh, who is a manager for Stoneboy, exceptionally great gentleman. Uh, and Bulldog, of course I was going to mention Bulldog. Bulldog, where is he? Bulldog, exceptionally great as well. The two of them combined are great, they've been phenomenal. And I can't go without saying thank you to Bullet. Uh, Bullet as well. Yeah. Uh, he's very happy. Yeah. Thank you. You know, I think I think I think what people don't also know is that Bullet also helped in yeah. bringing this yeah. unity together. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're dancing probably. All right. So on behalf of Bim, Bim Nation, can I hear Bim? Bim. It's not loud enough. Bim. 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 Oh, yeah. The militants. Yeah, the militants. The militants yeah. are here. And shut up. Supporting as well. Yeah. Can I hear some pa 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 pa
Thank you.